I'm Melissa with Kentucky Hempsters and today I'm with Katie and the Kentucky Hemp Works team for Hemp Homeschool. I'll be showing you all how to make a hemp facial mask using Kentucky Hemp Works hemp seed oil and hemp protein. I know Katie's been talking about these products and their uses and benefits and where they come from the past couple of weeks, but in case you missed a lesson or two, we'll do a quick refresher and then we'll dive right in. First, let's talk about hemp seed oil. Not to be confused with CBD oil, which is actually extracted from the hemp flower. Hemp seed oil is cold pressed from the seed. It is a food grade oil, like an olive oil. You can use it in salad dressings, pasta sauces, low temp cooking. You can also take it like a dietary supplement, similar to a fish oil. It can also be used in industrial products, so paints, varnishes, lubricants. You can even use it as a wood finish. And if you're a chemist, you can make biofuel out of it. So very versatile product, but perhaps the most popular use is for body care. That is because of its rich fatty acid content, the omega-3s, the omega-6s, particularly the linoleic acid found in the hemp seed oil is what makes it so great for the skin. So linoleic acid is actually the building block for ceramides, which is what creates the protective layers in your skin to keep irritants and bacteria out, but moisture in. So hemp seed oil is found in a lot of body products today. That's because it's great for anti-aging, for general uh, skin care. It's also great for conditions such as dermatitis, eczema, even acne. I know if you have acne, you're probably wondering why you would add more oil to your skin, but hemp seed oil is great because it doesn't clog your pores and it actually works with your skin's natural oils and helps regulate them and dilute some of the excess oils that your body wants to produce. Hemp seed oil, very popular. It's in a lot of different products on the shelf today, shampoos, conditioners, lotions, you name it but a less popular product for body care would be the hemp protein. Now, this is actually a byproduct of pressing the seeds for the oil. It's what remains from the seed, so the shells and some of the internet. Um, a lot of people know to use this for shakes, smoothies, even baked goods, of course. It's exactly what it's called, hemp protein. It's very high in protein. It's also got a lot of fiber, so it's got a lot of nutritional value, but lesser known is its use as an exfoliant. So we'll be using this today combined with our hemp seed oil. So we'll essentially be using the whole seed, which is pretty neat, to create our mask. We'll also be using some brown sugar and uh, some lemon. Brown sugar has glycolic acid, which is also uh, great for the skin, and lemon has vitamin C and citric acid, also good for the skin. Both of those just help dilute some of the earthiness of the mask and make it a little more refreshing. We're gonna start with our hemp seed protein. Now we've got one fourth of a cup here. You can use more or less depending on your preference. Once you get it in there and see the consistency, you can change it up. Uh, today this mask is going to be a little bit thicker because I want it to stay on my face, but if you're making it more like a scrub, you can add more oil to it as well. So we've got one fourth of the hemp protein we'll add in here. And we'll go on and add our brown sugar. I've got one eighth of a cup. So of course if you want to make more too, you can just double the recipe and, and build it up. Or you can add more brown sugar just because you want it. So one eighth of a cup of brown sugar. Oop. Stuck in there. And then we'll go on and zest our lemon. Now, this is totally your preference, how much or little you use. Again, it's mostly just to add a little bit of refreshness, but the citric acid in it is good for your skin as well. So more or less your preference. And I wouldn't suggest using the juice just because that can be a little too potent. So using a little bit of the peel is just a nice little added bonus. All right, I think we got a good amount there. All right, so I have one ounce of hemp seed oil. Again, you can use more or less depending on your preference. Once you see the consistency, I'll show you what this looks like when it's done. Again, it's gonna be a lot thicker than if you added more oil. So we will mix this up here. And it looks kind of similar to a coffee scrub. And you know, if you wanted to 
also use this on your feet you could or even your hands if you're just trying to soften them up this is just a great way to exfoliate and rejuvenate all right so I will show you what it looks like you can see kind of a thick paste there it looks really similar to coffee grounds and again if you want to add more oil to make it a little more uh, liquidy you can um, I definitely suggest applying this in the shower I will be doing it today over the sink which you can do but if you are doing this as an activity with young ones definitely get them in the tub and if you're doing it to pamper yourself just keep it in the shower and you know leftover you can store in your refrigerator mix it up and take it out every other shower or so, so and, and use it again all right i got this plenty mixed up now we're gonna apply so i'm in the bathroom i'm over the sink again i suggest doing it in the shower but for the video purposes we will do it this way First, you're going to want to definitely get your face wet if you aren't in the shower, but if you're going in the shower, get your face wet first, and then we're going to apply. This is the final product. I'm going to leave this on for 5 to 10 minutes or so, give or take, and I'm going to rinse it off. When I'm leaving it on, I'm letting the hemp oil soak in, so by the time I go to exfoliate and wash all that uh, hemp protein off, that hemp oil just soaks right in and my skin is able to absorb it quicker. If you want, you can use it as a scrub. Again, if you're doing it in the shower, put it on, exfoliate, take it right off. Um, if you're doing it with your kiddos as an activity, be sure that they're in the tub. You can see I'm starting to drip here. Uh, get a little messy if you do leave it on, have like a towel or something nearby so you can catch the drips of the oil. So try it out, see what you think. We'd love to hear your feedback. Drop it in the comments below. Also photos, videos, if you come up with your own recipe, we would love to have you share. Enjoy guys.